Why is edge computing important to telcos and what should they be doing to capitalize on the opportunities? Well, these are some of the key questions for the telecom sector today. And to answer some of these questions, I'm talking with Rolf Eberhardt. He's head of orchestration in the communications and media solutions division of Hewlett Packard Enterprise. So Rolf, can you summarize why edge computing is important to telcos? Edge computing is important because we're in a new market. Edge is where you're putting compute nowadays because you don't want to transport all data back into the data center because of bandwidth, because of privacy, or you know, any other reasons related to it. it. There are multiple reasons for, for that space. And, and it's an excellent opportunity for the telcos because this is the place where they have a unique differentiator in the market. So what kind of services are telcos planning to, to launch and offer from the edge? The, the telcos are known for connectivity. That's, that's their home turf. And um, what's now slowly happening is, is that you're, you're having telcos moving up the, the food chain into you know, managing the location and the compute at these locations as well. And obviously, the next step would be to move over, so over into managed services and into applications on top of it, uh, providing a holistic end-to-end -end service to enterprises in that space. So what are the main challenges that the telcos must overcome if they're to be successful in the edge market? The edge is, is the Wild West still. We're, we're, at, we're, we're at the beginning. So we've seen hyperscalers entering this market. Um, we've had the classic, classic IT data set distributed data centers. For telcos to be successful in this area, they, they need to... to um, use those benefits which they have and that's um, an excellent trust with enterprises and their locality so being proximate in close proximity to the enterprises to their benefits and and with that they then have to provide um, agility and flexibility in deploying apps because one thing we're seeing is that the edge is far more broader than you might expect. There is no single killer app as such. So you need to build something which or you need to be able to offer something which which will work for many different market segments, many verticals across many different countries. Okay, so should the telcos be teaming up with partners such as application de developers to build ecosystems? That's a very good question. Um, I think you you will have to do multiple things at the same time. So you, you will have to you'll have to team up for sure because there are multiple markets uh, addressing the edge. You can go in through a hyperscaler, or you can go in through um, through uh, individual software developers. So there are many different parties who want to access the edge. So it's really important for telcos to to be able to, to handle multiple channels. And at the same time, they also have to be able to handle and, and orchestrate these channels together because that's really, that's going to be their differentiator. Able to bring all this infrastructure together, managing different partners, managing multiple application providers over multi-tenant environments. Okay. Um, so what does HPE have to offer? I mean, for, for telcos looking to launch edge services, why should they be talking to HPE? There's a very good question. We in HPE have been in the edge for quite a while, starting off with our edge line server solutions, which, which bring compute power in various form factors down to, out to the edge, towards um, applications on top of the edge, towards um, GreenLake, which is our offering for as a service of compute, we have a complete portfolio in that space. Most interesting from my perspective, being the head of orchestration is obviously the edge orchestrator. Edge orchestrator combines compute, connectivity, and the application space and bringing this in a multi-tenant fashion to the end, end enterprise. So this allows you as a telco to bring all your edge services out to the enterprises so that they can flexibly and dynamically provision 
and orchestrate all the applications that they offer in a self-service motion. And this reduces the pain for the telcos having to develop this on their own. They can pick up the solution and they are good to go from day one. So in conclusion, uh, what would you say are the, the three key things that telcos need to do and to consider to be successful in the edge services market? There, um, there are three things which I see quite key and they all center around agility. You need to bring together compute, connectivity, and the application space. You need to uh, be able to create service compositions efficiently, and you need to be able to deploy them in a fast changing environment, because we know the edge is going to be for a long time, a highly dynamic environment. So the telcos have to be fast, they have to be flexible, and they have to be agile. And with that, you need an orchestration environment which can properly reflect that and bring services to the enterprises efficiently. Great advice. Well, Rolf, it's been fantastic talking to you today. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you very much, Ray. Nice meeting you.